Hello again everybody, it's that ginger kid and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Now I'm Mia again. Um, monsters are attacking, Ethan has disappeared, so my my standard protagonist has uh, fucked off. Uh, I'm in an entirely new area where there's a boat. Uh, and a lot of uh, rusted metal, so I'm pretty much... Is that Ethan? Oh, yeah, he's got the watch. Ethan. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that can't be good. Um, Guhan just took him. Excuse me. Can you, uh, bring back my, uh, husband? Ex-husband? It's really hard to say. We've been apart for so long. I'm really not sure where we're at emotionally. So I really need you to kind of... I don't know. Just be a little cognizant of the fact that there's some issues at play here that you don't understand. And we really need some time together to work through this all right now. Uh, so if you can return him, that would just... That would be just delightful. Also, old metal ship. My favorite flavor of chewing gum. And if you don't get that, Dr. Tran. And if you haven't seen Dr. Tran... How did I get the flashlight? I had absolutely nothing. Oh, God. Well. Um. It looks gross in here. I guess this is like seaweed and shit. Maybe? Um, so, my guesstimate. Oh, come on. So now we're back to the frightful type of horror. The you can't fight, you can't defend yourself. All you got going on is the ability to run away. Unless, nope, she didn't pick up his weapons. I thought she might have. I mean, there's there was a distinct possibility. Damn it. Agreed. What was that? Ghosts. Even I can answer that, Mia. Come on. Boy, oh boy. This place really needs a good scrub, scrub down. You need some, like, scotch bright pads. Clean up these walls. Oh, it's gonna take a while. And it's not going to be cheap, I can tell you that much. But, you know, for the right price, somebody will uh, polish this baby up, have it looking like new. Maybe then you won't feel the need to uh, manifest yourself as a uh, black slime monster. And instead can uh, work on presenting... Well... Sir? Sir? Do you know where they keep the people here? Hello? Ugh. You can never tell the difference between those living statue people and real statues. Well, up the stairs we go. Some more. Ah, the magical opening door. I like how the map was super helpful there. Ooh, a pallet. All right, what am I going to have to do here? Okay, obviously go down there, so that's fun. Oh, ooh, can I get the whiteboard cleaner? Can I write something? I want to draw a dick. That would be the best way for them to inject some really random levity into, like, this intense game. They're dead. They're all dead. Yeah. Danger move. What the fuck are you talking about? She killed them all! Who killed who all? Fuck. The little girl? What the hell is going on? Yeah, good question. Some weapons. Is there any weapons on this ship? I, no. I, I don't know, but... Look, let's go this way. Maybe we can get out of here. Thanks for telling me which way to go, bud. I mean, I kind of already knew, but... Can I have a hard hat? Nope. Well, you put it on, Mia. This is an old ship. There's That's open now. Okay. 
Um, there was definitely some structural integrity issues with how long this has been there. Uh, put on a hard hat for safety. Come on. See, you hear that? That clamoring and clanking? That could be something falling on your head at any moment. But instead of putting on the hard hat, you just looked at it and went, not my style. Like, come on. Oh, good. Well, down we go. <laughs> ah, man, I need to get a tetanus booster as soon as I get the butts out of here. No? Really? Is there a thing? Nope. How do you... Okay. Did I go the wrong way? Maybe it's this way. Stop knocking around. This isn't back to the front, is it? I mean, I remember circuit boxes, but I guess there could be a lot of those in here. Oh yeah, here we go. This is looking a little fallout. Captain Ed Carlisle. Chief Engineer Paul Fitzgerald. First Officer Giovanni Finetti. That's the most Italian name. Second Officer Clark C. Walsh. Dwayne Chalmers. Jim Stockman. Gerald Waddle. Okay, next just closes it. I thought next was going to be like... Little Creeptastic Girl. Oh, is this like... Uh, he must have been hiding from something. She's not my child. Well. Ah, uh, the Mori show filmed on here. Um, now what? Do you have something for me, sir? Sir? I appreciate you not falling onto me, because that would have been just gross. I mean, I'm already going to have to have, like, an incredibly efficient shower after I get out of here. But, what am I looking for? Man. Whoever wrote this book. What, what am I looking for? Let me just check the map. Okay, there's other ways to go. I didn't really think there would be, but hey. What's in here? More horrors? This oh, this guy tried to flush his hand. Clearly didn't work for him. She's inside me. She's inside everyone. Ah, so we're talking about someone fairly promiscuous. Anyone else? Nope. Just an empty locker. Cool. Alright, let's go. Well, see, this is what I mean about the dangers of being in here. Like, look at this couch. This couch is in a sorry state of repair. Hello? Oh, wait. LNG tanker Annabelle. Cool. I don't know what all the technical specs of the ship would really, uh... Tell me. Settle down, little girl. Settle down. Yeah. Why well, you don't trust creepy little girls, man? Are you remembering? Uh, no. What? What are you? <laughs> Ugh. She made the shittiest, like, I'm a shithead little kid face there. Like the kind of laugh those uh those kids do when they knock something down on purpose, and you're just like your parents need to teach you some manners. What the fuck is this? Just a dead end? Oh no, that's a ladder. Smart. Ah, <sighs> how far is this ladder? This is a hell of a ladder. What? So, what is Mia supposed to be remembering? Was, uh, Mia... Uh, part of, uh, I'm assuming Umbrella? Hey, buddy. So, am I supposed to drop down, or...? 
Well, I'd assume so. Oh, there's a ladder there. Okay. Well, it's not a one-way street, then, at least. I don't know... what the fuck... Um... Hmm. Okay. Up we go. Uh, did I? Um, talking about? I lied. Said. Wait. Um. Okay. Ugh, somebody needs to set some goddamn ground rules with this kid. Something staggering around walking down here. That's just garbage. Oh, some chem fluid. That's cool. I have no idea what I'm even looking for here. Oh, fucking damn it. Can you not? Okay, that's not opening. Oh, god damn it. Another one? Oh, fucking shit, goddammit. I don't have any way of defending myself from these guys. Just running in circles. Is there anything around in here? What have you got? Nothing. Goddammit, go away! Oh, good. He's manifesting from the ground. Oh god, go away. And I'm gonna guess one's gonna come to life in here, too. Because having a safe, safe place to... Ooh, what's this, Playboy? Amazon River Cruise Guide, come on. Nothing says a bunch of lonely sailors like the Amazon River Cruise Guide. No important documents. Oh, what's this? Dear Janet. Hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Though there is one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. It must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Um... I hear your fucking gross feet slapping around out there. Oh good, there's one of those if I can find a knife to break it open with. Anything in here? Or just anything to break it open. A hammer. A hammer. It's too late for us. But at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday. So I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid. A little girl. Laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up at 19.30. That's 7.30 p.m. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 7.50 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. That's racist. The monster turned and started coming towards me, huge shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, and there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Oh, I gave him the wrong name. This was Giovanni Finetti. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's let's use those. Oh yeah, that's the shit. Okay, but I can't really do anything about the fact that there's something in there now, unless what's this? 
I would have missed this. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna get a gun and stuff. What what is this? Is this in the next room? I've missed a lot of items. It seems. No, 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 no. Ha 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 ha! I got the things. You can't stop me, bitch. Fuck you. Jesus fuck. No, leave me alone. Don't you fucking come at me. I'll come at you. Like a powerful moss. General purpose fuse. Excuse me. Pardon me. Beg pardon. Excuse me. Pardon me. Damn it, dude. Don't fuck with me. See, I missed all of that stuff. Ah, fucking god damn it. Really? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm going back into the bunk room. I'm going back in here. You can eat a dick. And die. Can you leave me alone? Owie. 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 Ah. Strange bottle. Um, what? E001. Okay, cool. God damn it, guys. There's a shitload in that room next to me. But I can't get in there. There's something in this box. But I can't get in there. What's the sneak? Does that work? I don't know. I don't know what's what. Everything's crazy in this topsy-turvy world. What's going on here? Okay, so that requires a pirate hook, apparently. Everything's different in the world of me. Another whiteboard. Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I got a gun. Nothing in there. <laughs> is there anything else in this room? Excuse me, sir. Is there any herbs in here? I could uh, use some. And some spices while we're at it. Okay, well, you know what? Now that's for the serum. Yes. Okay, so everything's awful. Does this really only hold two bullets? No, there we go. Much better. Okay, so these go in a big circle. I get the distinct impression that this section here might not be overly friendly. General purpose fuse. There we go. Okay. I, th I think, again, I'm not an expert in these matters. But I think that this is going to be a lot more expansive than I thought. That area is going to have a lot of loots in it. Uh, but I think now, at least for a while, now I have to be Mia saving uh, Ethan instead of the other way around. So which floor do I need to be on? Okay, not that one. Third floor. I could really use some herbage. You know? You feel? That does go up. Huh, I thought maybe this would be the last one.
spooky, scary, freaky dudes. Um. Can you turn your flashlight back on, Mia? This is the downside to... Watch it. What? Why? You watch it, bitch. You need to remember. So we can be a family. What am I remembering? The static? You, um... Can I shoot you in the head? Just, uh, take you down? Take you out? Old videotape. Oh, it's covered with slime. Is that even gonna work? It's gonna play goo streaks. Okay, here we go. Mia Winters. Huh? Alan, you're getting worse. She must have infected me during the attack. And I'm too far gone anyway. What? Who must have? Uh, uh, Evelyn? Uh, 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 uh. But it serves me right. It's my fault she got out. Yeah, it is your fault. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna let you die. What? She didn't attack you? It's part of her imprinting protocol. I can't believe this is happening. What? Here. Take it. It has her tissue samples. You find her. Fix this. Okay, Evie. Where are you? What? Okay, so, uh... I was right. Special Operations Division. Director Ellen Droney and caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she is at high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. 1. Don't feed her after midnight. Act as per 2. Act as parental guardians for Evelyn at all times to avoid suspicion. 3. Don't let her get wet. 4. Manage Evelyn's vitals via the genome conex provided. 5. If mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. Machine gun ammo. Yes, please. Oh, what do I have in here? My machine gun? Nope. I have a combat knife. <laughs> and a fucking machine gun. Shit, yeah. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's be honest. That's, uh, that's a little... That's a, uh, that's a scotch badass. Okay, so now, who am I killing? Who do I kill now? Oh, you guys, the floors... Maybe they're not wet, but they're, they look slippery. Okay, that one doesn't work. I don't know why I have a knife, and I don't know why I have a gun. She's close. What is she? Numbers displayed show the distance to the target. Oh, I'm getting close. Supplements. Do these matter at all? I feel like they don't. Gross. Evelyn, Jesus. No one ever tell you to clean up after yourself? Like, Jesus, kid. Wait, what? Climb up on what? What just said climb up? Oh, there. Okay. Um. Okay, hang on. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but I'm sure it isn't just Evelyn. Uh, the bottle. The knife. No, okay. So this doesn't do anything. Locked from the other side. Okay, so things I've managed to ascertain is that Mia was a 
Umbrella, I'm guessing, because it is a Resident Evil game still. Uh, operations special agent uh, tasked with handling this uh, this kiddo who has crazy powers and was um, better check the rest of this floor first. Don't tell me how to live my life. What's in here? Oh, it's getting higher, so... What's this? More supplements. Can I... get something else here? Is that an herb? Yep. Mmm, herbs and spices. What are you? Okay, I'm guessing I need some sort of key card for that. Okay, now I've managed to complete this loop. Um, I don't have any chem fluid. Am I supposed to kill the small child? I imagine so. I mean, I have a machine gun, and I have a combat knife. So she doesn't remember this stage? I'm guessing that when she, um... I'm guessing that when she, uh, became an agent, she was already married to Ethan, and she just had to kinda, or she was, she was an agent before, and something like that, and just had to, uh, I was here before, ten, eight, seven, eight, ten. So she's in this room then, which is accessed. Ah, god damn it! God damn it, Evelyn! Why do you have to make this difficult? All I'm trying to do is fucking murder you, probably. I mean, you got out, and that was the thing that they said was big no-no. So, in order to prevent myself from getting a really nasty performance review, I'm going to have to kill you. Like, what do I do here? I'm missing something, obviously, but I don't know where to look for it. If I could find some chem fluid, I could make a psychostimulant and find where stuff is. So that would be really cool at this point. Eight, nine... Yeah, she's in the fucking... She's in there, and I don't know how to get in there. Um... Well, God damn it! You know what? I am going to have to continue this in the next episode because I am plumb out of time, and I got to figure out what I'm actually looking for. So we'll just go from there. No, I can't stick supplements in it. That's too bad. We'll just go from there. But yeah, if you like these Resident Evil playthroughs, then be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know if you have suggestions for other games you'd like to see hit the channel that are in the same vein when this one's all done. Uh, and let me know if you have suggestions for tips or tricks or suggestions for things to leave behind when I'm carrying too much crap in this or any of those type of things. You know, just the, the standard... Um, How do I do that? Do I have to shoot it with a machine gun? Anyway. Yeah, let me know any sorts of things you like to let me know. Tips, tricks, suggestions for other games, or things like that. And if you enjoyed this video in particular, or any of the videos on my channel, please consider sharing them with a friend. And help me uh, grow the channel to some new and loftier heights. And in the meantime, this has been That Ginger Kid, and I will see you all in the next episode.